Hey guys, in today's video, we're talking about iOS 12.1.1. Apple, yes, has officially released this software to all iOS devices that support iOS 12. This software was in beta for approximately two and a half weeks, in beta three for about two and a half weeks, and Apple has officially released the software. Now, there's a few new features and things to talk about that I want to share with you guys, but there's also some features that didn't make it to the official release of iOS 12.1.1. But in this video, you're going to get the whole breakdown of all the new features with this software. So let's begin. So before we get to iOS 12.1.1, I want to make a quick announcement. Super excited to announce iDeviceHelp.tech is officially live. You can check it out with the links in the description. Right now, the website is in the first stages, so it's pretty much an extension of YouTube, but a lot more content will be featured on this website. I'll also like to take your suggestions. Leave a comment down below. What type of content would you like to see for the website? Right now, we're featuring the wallpaper of the day, so every day you can come over to the website and grab an exclusive wallpaper that I'll have featured for you guys. And again, as I mentioned, additional content will be coming in the future. This is sort of the first stages of the website, so I'm super excited. Now, Ismail, he's been pushing all the weight. He built the website from the ground up. So if you need a website to be built, check him out. Links will be in the description. He has great, great concepts and great ideas for a website. And you can see there, I do myself tech. I love the new design, and this is all courtesy of Ishmael. So you can check them out. Links will be in the description for him as well. So now let's go ahead and talk about iOS 12.1.1 and some of the new features with this software. Now, if you're running beta 3 for iOS 12.1.1 and you want the official final version, you want to go right here to general, you want to scroll down to profiles and device management, you want to click on the profile and remove it from your device. Once you remove it, go ahead and restart your device, and then you can head on over to software updates and you'll see iOS 12.1.1 final version populate on your device. That's only if you're running beta 3. If you're not, you can simply go to settings, go to general, and under software updates, you'll see 12.1.1 populate. And here are some of the new features that were expected with this software. And we'll get to some of the features that didn't make it to 12.1.1. So let's begin. First feature down the list for this new software is notification previews using haptic touch on the iPhone XR. Now, those of you who own the iPhone XR, when you get a notification on the lock screen, you couldn't 3D touch or haptic touch on this device. That's a new feature with this software. This software also brings dual SIM with eSIM for additional carriers. So additional carriers have been added to this feature on the new iPhones 10s, 10s Max, and 10R. So if you own one of these devices and you want to add additional data plans or separate data plans, you can go to cellular networks here, go to add plan, and now additional carriers are added to this feature of iOS 12 with 12.1.1. Additional new features include live photo capturing during one-on-one -on -one FaceTime calls. So that's also possible with this new software. Enhancements to the FaceTime UI. So sort of a facelift for FaceTime. Here's the old UI right here. If we tap on the screen, you see that we have the menu. We can also go ahead, tap here, and then flip the camera. This menu was sort of hidden. So it wasn't completely uh, polished up. It was just confusing to a lot of people. The effects were just on that one corner there it was just completely weird here's the new version of this software so right here it is at the bottom you find all the buttons that you need you have your mute flip front to rear facing camera with one single click you don't have to bring up that entire new menu there in order to get access to those settings and a lot of people are going to be happy to see this new menu is a lot easier see the button there with the live photo capturing it has to be enabled on both ends but you can capture live photos directly one-on-one -on -one facetime calls as well and you have the effects there so uh, you know a lift for the FaceTime UI, as you can see there, you see that the buttons are completely different with FaceTime. And going down the list here of additional new features, you see here that we have some additional new options on the news application where you can hide the sidebar on landscape orientation. If you want to go ahead and read the news, get a cleaner look on the news application for iPads, you see there landscape orientation. You can hide the sidebar in the news. We also have real time text when using. Wi-Fi calling on the iPads and iPod Touches, so that's also an improvement. Stability improvements for dictation and voiceover. You may remember a voiceover of iPads for the lock screen, which allowed you to get some personal data from the iPhone without entering the passcode. It also has been improved with this software release. Additional fixes with FaceTime, FaceTime UI that we talked about. We have tons of software improvements in terms of security. And of course, HomePod also received additional software layers as well to improve the software of the HomePod. Now there's a few features that were anticipated with iOS 12.1.1 alongside watchOS 5.1.2, which is still in its second beta since November 15th, but didn't make their debut with the software. Apple is having problems getting the ECG reading right here for the watchOS using the digital crown on the 
watch with watchOS 5.1.2 so that software did not make its debut today alongside 12.1.1 which was expected to do so but i guess apple wasn't able to get it right so right here we have new mac os mojave 10.14.2 was released today of course ios 12.1.1 and tvos 12.1.1 so tons of software updates new improvements to the software overall great software update if you want to check it out i'll link you guys down below to the direct release notes if you want to check them out thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace